hello traders welcome back to my screen in today's lesson i'll teach you a very simple sharp sniper entry strategy that you can use to maximize profit so i have a lot of people asking me to do a video on sniper entry and here we are today i'll be exposing you to how to get sniper entries now if not subscribed to this channel click on that subscribe button and put on the notification bell and also if you are not part of my telegram channel the link will be in the description below click on the link join the telegram channel because i have a lot of magic in there i can't wait to see you there without wasting much time let's dive in Welcome back. So this is Pound JPY um, for our time frame. So when you follow me for some time now, you should know that I love doing most of my analysis on the four hour. And like I always say, four hour gives you a clearer structure. Or should I say, it gives me a clearer structure. So this is us on the four hour. And on the four hour time frame, I'll just draw my point of value or my area of value. So this is the four hour. This is my major area of value. So what I'll be waiting is for price to get there. For me to look for selling opportunities because if you look at this side, we had a point of value here or our area of interest which was not respected because we're thinking price will I was thinking price will get there and then we had we will have a fall to the downside. So this is what I was thinking that price will get here and we will have a fall to the downside. We are going to have something like this. That is why that is what I was thinking. That is what I speculated. And this is what happened. Price got there and the zone was not respected and we had this breakout. So you can see that we had this breakout a pullback and then price has started moving to the upside that should tell you that the bulls are still in power the bulls are still taking charge that is why this zone was not respected also when you look here you can see that we have another zone here let's consider this as a supply zone so this is our supply zone and you can see that price got there to end nothing really happened the bulls are still in order so we just had some few consolidations and they move to the upside and this is also another zone you can see the rejections these are some of the rejections so the next zone we are looking at is for price to get to this point of value this is my major zone this point or value or area of value for me to look for selling opportunities or my sniper entry now will you sell immediately price and test into your area of value no you would have to look for confluences at least two or three confluences now when you look here you can see that price has touched our area of value so on the area of value we also have this resistance zone. this is the reason why i am not going to sell immediately if i am going to sell then i'll have to wait for this sorry this support zone to break that is when i can start selling but you can see that price has not broken the support zone yet so i don't have anything doing over there because we could have something like this price could just get the pull back before dropping and then when price gets there to form something like this so we are having confluences around that area so we have double top in a, in an area of value which is our support or resistance so we already have two confluences here this could happen and also when price get the price might not continue dropping but rather might just break out retest and continue moving to the upside like the same thing that has happened here we're waiting here to see if price could reverse from here but nothing like that happened rather we had a breakout a retest and a pull to the upside so these are some of the things that can happen so you need to be patient until you get what you want or until you see what you want in that zone which would be your confluences that will give you an edge to take a sell trade on here too we have a trend line this is a channel to the upside this way this is a channel so we are still looking for our confluences that will give us an edge to take a cell or uh, to enter a cell so when you look at this one you can see that we have another channel we had a pull to the upside price drop down so we had a pull and exhaustion pull exhaustion 
in that manner now let's move to the one hour time frame so what i usually do is that when i'm doing an analysis on the four hour and i see any opportunity on the four hour i enter without moving to the lower time frame but if i'm going to move to the lower time frame the lowest i do is the one hour time frame so this is the one hour time frame you can see what is happening on the one hour time frame like i said price could just get here and there will be a reversal to the upside and you can see what this candle is trying to do at this point you can see what is happening here so right on the one uh what did i do there is also another uh bullish flag here right on the one hour when you are trading you really need to open your eyes and put all the ingredients together so you can have an edge so you can see what is happening here this is the pattern we have at that point this pattern we have this bullish flag pattern so this is what is happening you see we have this to the upside we have this and then we have this consolidation in the flag and we are going to have a push to the upside so we are going to take any surgery we would have to wait for price to push up back into where the trend line is before we take a sell position now look at what price has decided to do in that zone so you see this is our bullish flag and we are just waiting for price to pull up into the zone for us to take an entry so immediately price gets into the zone we are going to have a lot of confluences so you can see price has entered nicely into the zone okay you can see that price has entered nicely into the zone now look at something here now on the four hour time frame price has entered back into the zone but there's no bearish move to tell us that we are going to continue selling this asset so we would have to wait and see a bearish candle immediately we see a bearish candle we should know that all right this time around the bears are trying to take over the market now in this zone we have a support and resistance we have a trend line that is our second confluence the third confluence is that we had a psychological level here so we have a psychological level so at this point alone we already have three confluences three confluences in this room so immediately i see a bearish candle i am entering immediately you see a bearish candle you should enter what you should enter your cell position because we already have three confluences three confluences that is giving us an edge to take a cell position so let's see what happened from there so you can see you can see what happened now let's move to the one hour and see if we can get a bearish candle now this is our bearish candle this is our bearish candle on the trend line so immediately i see this bearish candle on the trend line it's already giving me three confluences so what do you do you just pull out your short position to drop it here your sl a little above the trend line and your take profit back to this trend line so your take profit to be back to this trend line and you can see that the trend line is nicely on a support and resistance or on a demand zone around this point okay so immediately price gets there and you see a bearish bearish candle this is a bearish candle telling us that the bears are coming into the market you can see what's happened and with this rejection so immediately you see that you can just enter from there because we have almost three confluences there so this is one of the sniper entries now the second one you can also do is that since this place has now become a supply zone on the one hour time frame you can just wait for price to come back into the supply zone so at this point you are going to have four confluences so you have a supply zone you have a trend line you have a psychological level you have a support 10 resistance so what will you do you just wait patiently for price to come back into that supply zone for you to take an entry so at this point we had our first sniper entry and then we are waiting for because look at something here this supply zone has broken this structure at this point so we have a new form of structure here once we have a new form of structure we are waiting for price to pull back into that structure for us to take a sell position so now we are waiting for price to move into that structure for us to take a very nice sell position now as price is moving into the structure to give us a selling opportunity look at what happened again look at what happened again we have another structure we have another structure this way you see we have this pattern you can see this pattern we have this pattern and then price dropped 
so this is the pattern that is forming around here on the one hour this pattern this is the pattern that is forming on the one hour you can see this pattern so we had a drop here we had a drop here on the supply zone then this way price has put back into the supply zone so we already have a lot of confluences around this area so there is nothing anybody will say that is going to convince us that this this asset or this pair will not continue falling because this is another pattern we had here so we have now we have a lot of confluences around this area so immediately you see this price has gotten back into the supply zone what will you do you just pull out your short position to drop it here your sl a little above the previous high this is the previous high so a little above the previous high and you'll take profit to the nearest support or resistance or back to this trend line because this is what we are having on the trend line a push exhaustion push exhaustion so this is what we are having on the trend line so you take your sniper entry from here immediately price has gotten back into the supply zone so we had a lot of what we have a lot of confluences around this area so immediately price gets there you just take your entry and you wait for your take profit to be triggered now with a risk to reward you can see that this is almost one is to three risks to reward so this is a perfect risk to reward now let's look at what price has done in that zone you can see what is happening you can see what is happening in that zone you can see how price is respecting that zone nicely you can see what is happening we're just waiting for our take profit to get period now you can see how price is moving nicely price is moving nicely and finally we are targeting our take profit so now our take profit is triggered now look at what happened here immediately our take profit got triggered we had another reversal that is why i always advise that when you want to take your profit you take your profit at the nearest support or resistance because these are turning points for price so this is what has happened i hope you've learned something from this lesson this is a very sharp nice sniper entry strategy that you can use to maximize profit if you've enjoyed this video leave a comment in the comment section hit on the subscribe button and also you can leave a topic you would like me to teach in any of my youtube lessons see you in the next video and peace out